all of the different social media platforms have different size requirements, like vertical for TikTok or landscape on YouTube, unless it's for shorts. And then if you want to post it somewhere else, maybe it needs to be a square. I get that that is all kind of stressful, but it does not need to be difficult. So I'm going to show you a few more tricks on resizing your videos in CapCut. Hey friends, my name is Mary Lou Mandel and my mission is to encourage and empower you to create digital content. On this channel, I make content about making content. So if you're into that kind of thing, please do subscribe. So today's tutorial, I have done other videos on how to resize or crop your videos for TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube on mobile using cap cut. So I'll make sure there's a link to that video, but I wanted to add on to it because there was a question that came up a few times on how do you take a YouTube video and make it full screen on TikTok? And I had the question a few different times, but I wasn't quite sure what they were asking because there's a few different ways you can do this. But I believe the initial question is taking like a landscape video and blowing it up so it's now vertical, but then you have to kind of move things so the subject is in the center. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I'm also gonna show you another way that I like to put video into vertical if for some reason I can't zoom out all the way. So like videos like this, if I'm too close, if I cut it in, it's just gonna be like all face, which sometimes is fine, but sometimes you want a little bit more breathing room for your glory. So let me show you how I do this. It's gonna be great. So using CapCut, one of my favorite um, apps that I like to share with you folks, and it is free for iOS and for Android. It is made by ByteDance, which is the company that makes TikTok. So they get it and they know how easy editing is so valuable to us as content creators. So get CapCut if you haven't yet. Make sure you go ahead and download it. It is easy and free. And I'm going to be doing an entire course on CapCut that's going to come out very soon, hoping August 1st. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments so I can make sure you know about it when it comes out. But what we're going to do first, we're going to open a new project. And then we are going to pull in a landscape video. So... This picture came up on my memories, this little gizmo, little baby gizmo, and she's, uh, you know, walking around doing some tricks. And say I want to take this on to, to TikTok. So what do I need to do in order to make this happen? First thing you want to do is bring in the original video. You can do this the other way around too, but I just want to make it the easiest for you. You've got a video you want to make vertical, but it is not vertical. Bring that video in. So right now it's landscape. And you're going to scroll over here on the bottom to format. Then you're going to select nine by 16. And now you see that it's small. It's got like black bars in the top and the bottom. So actually I'll change the color so you can see. So right now there's bars on the top and the bottom, but you want it to be full screen. So what you're going to do is tap on the picture and there's going to be like a little green outline on the outside of it. You take two fingers and you zoom in. It's very, very simple. You zoom in and then you can pull it to the side and then you can see a little baby gizmo. Look at her. Oh my goodness. It really is that easy. And then when you have the subject go off of camera, you can do a split and then you can move it, you know, move the next bit around. So right now she's not in the center, so I can split. I can take this clip and move it to where you see her, the little, little cat butt, the little cat butt. So right now there isn't necessarily tracking. There are more advanced ways where you can use keyframes and move it around so it will move smoothly. You don't have to do the cuts. The easiest way is to just split them into just the shots that you want and center it as best as possible. Um, but we can get into keyframes in the future. It is more advanced. It's like a little more thinking to get done, but it is not impossible. And if you want to try that, it's this little, little diamonds. Oh, where'd they go? These little diamonds here are keyframes and you'll mark one place and then you'll mark where you want it to move and it'll, it'll move it. 
it's 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 a little advanced but we will get into that so if you've got like your video like this right so in this clip we're fine but in this clip i want to see the whole scene so what you can do with this we can sp make that one smaller and move it over to the size that we need it to be and if you don't want a color background like it doesn't have to be that I actually sometimes do a background that is a graphic. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen me do this because I have some videos that you need to see more space. So you go to canvas here on the bottom. So make sure you're not highlighted on the timeline. You're gonna scroll to canvas, which is next to format, background, and then you can upload something. I made this in Canva, this, this little graphic here. So that, I've used that a couple of different times. I go into Canva and I change it from time to time. I change what the text is, but now you can have that and your video can fit in here the way that you need it to, because maybe you don't want to zoom it in all the way. But the basic thing you just need to know is that you can resize just by pinching, zooming, and pulling it where you need it to go. Let's see another little, see here, look at, look at this action. Now you can have that in vertical action. Boop, boop, boop. Oh my goodness, she was so little. She was so little. I hope that you found that helpful. If you did, please do let me know in the comments. And if you are interested in my cap cut course that's going to be coming out, please make sure you let me know in the comments and I will make sure I let you know when it comes out. So I look forward to doing that. I'm really excited about it because this app has so much good stuff and you can use it for YouTube, for TikTok, for Reels, for anywhere that you need to put video, you can edit it on here. The bigger the video file, the more complicated it gets. But for little things that you're shooting, especially TikTok Reels style, easy, easy, easy peasy. And I really love bringing you this content. So if it is helpful for you, then all of this work is worth it. And if you want to be a content creator, you deserve to be a content creator. You can be a content creator. There's enough room on the internet for all of us. All I ask for you to do is create, release, and repeat. If you haven't connected with me yet on Instagram or TikTok, please do. It's at Mary Lou Mandel all over the internet. And until next time, be good humans. Drink some water. I really need to drink some water right now. I'll see you in the next video.